Hey guys. Um, hi. Assalamualaikum. And um, whew, I suddenly am <coughs> speechless. <laughs> um, so um, hello. I am back. Yes, I am back. As you can see, there is a different setting right now. <clears throat> I'm actually seeing the background is totally different than what you're used to seeing. That is because I am currently residing in another state, basically in the south of um, Malaysia with my husband. So you see, um, a lot has been happening um, since a few months ago. I know that my last video was uh, like three or four months ago and that was in um, Singapore when I was um, accompanying my husband for an interview. Actually, I just need you know, I'm just sipping some tea because it's a very uh, rainy day today. It's raining very heavily, so it's a bit cold. <coughs> okay, um, so I, it's been such a long, long time. It's been quite a while since um, I've <laughs> made a video and I just, I don't know, I was just too preoccupied with things and I wasn't really <coughs> prepared. So basically, um, the video that I left off was in Singapore and I actually still have some more remaining videos that I have not uploaded um, since the Singapore trip so yeah that was in uh, <coughs> that was in May now it's uh, September so May June July so it's been five months I guess since I last made a video so yeah a lot has been happening and after it happened really fast so my husband after my husband got back from the interview in Singapore um, at the hotel <coughs> at Changi Cove and um, just like a few weeks after that he got he got a call and um, they offered him the job yay so yes Alhamdulillah he, uh, he, he is currently now working in Singapore but we are living in Johor, which is the south of um, Malaysia, and it's just very near Singapore. It's just uh, just across the border. So yeah, I cannot believe I am actually staying here in Johor. So basically, Johor is actually my husband's hometown. He was born and raised here, but then he moved to KL for since he was 19 with his family. So, but basically, he's a Johorian. So um. Okay, so uh, after we, uh, he got the call and he, so he secured the job. So and then it was, it was already that was during Ramadan. Yeah, we went, we actually went to during Ramadan. Um, no, we didn't. No, it was in May before Ramadan. So and then Ramadan came. I guess I was busy with Ramadan. I mean, you know, I was at home and. I had to cook and help my mom and it was basically a fasting month you just get really <laughs> sort of tired and things so yeah I didn't have the time and I didn't yeah I didn't have the time to make um, mukbangs and videos <clears throat> and then came Eid uh, Ideal Fitri after the fasting month uh, came the Hari Raya where we all Muslims celebrate <coughs> after fasting one whole month so yeah and then we were busy with that and then we, it was it happened so fast so basically right after Hari Raya just a few days after Hari Raya I think it was um, on the 3rd of it was on 31st of July no no wait no, 31st of um, June yeah during yeah I remember the day that we came to Johor was 30th June and yeah we just we moved on that day so because my husband had to report to his work on the 3rd of July so yeah basically it was I, I was busy with the fasting month and then I was busy packing we're packing our stuff so we just moved here we just rode the bus because 
basically we we got a house we were lucky to to um to get uh the, an apartment um at such a short notice uh, it's just a studio apartment um <coughs> so uh yeah we were lucky to to have been um to be able to get an apartment that fast and then move in and it's fully furnished so as you can see all of these i mean this so far is it's this is the landlords and everything so we have table we have a bed we have tv we have fridge there's kitchen yeah but it's a very small small apartment i'll give you a tour sometime although i don't think there's much to tour <laughs> to tour about because it's really small but that's all that's all right. that that'll be another video later so yeah we so we it happened so fast and we just moved here and yeah since july well, we've been staying here since july and then you know we were settling down and so my husband commutes um from here to singapore there's the bus and then there's the mrt but basically um but he doesn't come in every day because sometimes he has to stay over there um, at the hotel or sometimes he'll be staying at his friend's place I mean his colleagues because you know hotels the way they work <coughs> with functions and with events and especially he's the second man so yeah he's pretty busy but I'm used to that actually I was used to it when I was in Kale but here in it was quite difficult actually and at, at, at the first <clears throat> for the first few weeks it was really difficult because i'm used to him working in the kitchen i'm used with his shifts his working hours but i'm not really used to not seeing much of him because back at home at my parents place um <clears throat> yeah we've been living with our, with our parents for like five six years that's quite a long time right so yeah, back at home at my parents' house, he'd always come back every night. But now it's just just a few nights a week. So, but that's okay. But I'm, I've gotten used to it. And sorry if I'm really talking really fast because I don't want to make it such a long, long video. Um, yeah. So <laughs> this is basically the first time that we have we are living on our own like really really like leaving i mean and me being far away from home i mean i've been far away from home when i was studying in college when i was in um when i was doing my diploma and then when i was doing my degree my diploma was also in Johor. i did it in sigama it's like more far from here so but still in this state and um but that was a different story and i also lived on my own when i was doing my degree but that's just 45 minutes away from home and even though i rented i was renting a room on my own but that's just different because you were studying and you always come back on the weekends but here it's like so far so but i think you know it's uh, uh, there's a good there's a reason for everything that's happening and i believe you know it's everything happens for a reason and it's good i think it's a good thing that my husband is um you know like <clears throat> he's really going back into his career and really he really wants to to progress and you know flourish in his career as a chef so there you got it he's the chef de cuisine right now so <clears throat> um so um yeah and since so we're actually living on our own right now and but the thing is the great thing is i get to go back i get to go back to my home my parents house like a few times a month often often enough because you know it's just me alone here and since we don't have kids yet so it's pretty lonely even though i do enjoy my own company sometimes but you know i really miss home i really miss my mom my parents my family my niece my nephew you know but yeah but but like i said before um the first few weeks it was really difficult i was like crying almost <laughs> like um every day i know i'm such a i'm so pathetic but but then you know but then I got used to it, so now it's been two months. 
exactly two months that we've lived here so uh, yeah it's been great and you know I just I mean my husband comes home a few times a week and sometimes only once a week but you know it makes the more the moments more memorable it makes it more worthwhile actually so I don't consider it long distance because basically Singapore from here is if you don't include the freaking traffic jam that's like three hours it's only like one hour or 45 minutes from here but because so many people work in freaking Singapore a lot of people work in Singapore especially people from Johor but there's even a lot of people in Singapore that's living here so basically it's such a traffic jam so um, it takes almost three hours just to get to Singapore but it's actually very near but if you don't go on in peak hours it's it only takes like an hour or so just to get across the border so yeah my car so my husband is working there and he says it's great although it's definitely a different culture you know the way i don't know it's so different malaysia and singapore although we're just like a few like thousand kilometers is it we're probably just like across the border but the singaporean culture they're a very developed country very advanced so it's different it's di di my husband has been telling me that it's really different even though we look almost the same but the culture there is different the technology is different so so basically Malaysia is so so left behind actually so yes guys um, I just wanted to do this video to um, to inform you that I am back and I also want to thank you so so much to those that have been supporting me to those that have even been asking me oh how have I been how, how am I doing and why is and why am I not making any videos for so long thank you so much for asking thank you so much for even supporting me from the first yeah from the first videos you know, you know <coughs> thank you so much for even watching actually and I also thank you to those I still thank you to those who have been giving negative comments or like those haters you know there's always those kind of people I thank you also <laughs> although all I can do is just ignore you guys I mean those that are negative ones but still thank you enough for even just watching regardless if you are giving positive or negative comments so guys um um, what else shall I say? Hmm. It's been great living here. This um, this this apartment is actually very small. I don't. I it's about just about five hundred square feet, and there's no room. This is a studio apartment. It's just like really just straightforward, like square, like that. And but there's a kitchen. There's a toilet. So it's enough. It's enough for both of us. And the rent is quite affordable compared to others I mean plus it's the, in a very strategic location because it's so near to the to the CIQ which is uh, damn it I forgot what it stands for but CIQ is basically where all the check in check out point where you go out to um, to Singapore it's very near it's only like five minutes but I think it's really really convenient here because everything is just five minutes away However, we don't have our car here yet because like I told you before, I think in my previous videos we've, we, I, we've been telling you that our car is broken and then we've been riding the truck. So the truck is back home. Of course, we're not riding the truck over here. We're not, be, I cannot even drive it because it's manual and plus it's too big. So our car is still broken down. It's still, we left it at my, my parents' home. But we're gonna fix it sometime. I mean, in a few months' time, we need we need to. Um, my husband needs to save some more money to fix it. But then there's always the f the Grab car and the Uber, so it's so easy. And then it's so much cheaper here. I mean, the Grab car. We've been using a lot of Grab car. Uber is a bit more um, expensive sometimes, but Grab car is so so much easier. So everything is five minutes from from where we are staying i mean the clinic i mean clinic is only five minutes away the bus station where i always take the bus to go back to kl is also just five minutes away 
and it only costs about five to six ringgit <clears throat> and then um even shopping mall is just five minutes away what else so everything is so near here actually so i think we made a really really great decision to choose um this area to choose an apartment yeah so but although we can only afford a studio as compared to other homes it's very actually it's actually quite expensive even compared to kl i mean to live here and to rent out but to buy a home here i'm not sure but because this is very near the city and it's very near everything else and it's very strategic it's quite expensive to rent out i mean renting this uh studio apartment is about 1200 ringgit but 1200 ringgit in kl you can actually get a home an apartment with two or three rooms right yeah but here you only get a freaking studio so but what to do you know i mean sometimes you just have to take it because of other reasons because of other um good reasons so we just have to take it and plus it's fully furnished so it's all right and it's really clean it's new and they have swimming pool facilities but even though the swimming pool is quite small but but it's all right 